What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor. This is... What? What does it sound like? That sound like there's a mouse. Wind. It's one of those clearance signs that's hanging off something. Anyway, this is uh, gonna be our last update for about a month. We're only gonna be doing updates uh, every month. That's just gonna be kind of to get a handle on what's going on, what is gonna be happening on the channel, any new things, any upcoming things, anything that went wrong, etc., etc. It's just to catch up, you and me. But what this is, is not January, which means today is Saturday, but I'm filming it for Sunday. And of course, as always, my camera cannot keep its stuff together. We're gonna just turn off the autofocus. We've got the autofocus off, now it's just, theoretically it should stay focused. So yeah, it's Saturday, I'm filming it for tomorrow so that tomorrow I can film Monday's video, which really is a lot of, of weight off the shoulders. January was a great experiment, I loved doing it. It was outstanding for kind of just showing me that I can do this stuff on a short timetable and really still execute. I was gonna say as good, but let's be honest, things were not as good. There were definitely a few problems with the videos, I went over those yesterday, but it did help me kind of get my flow together, be able to, to knock some stuff out. Hopefully I can utilize those skills that I've learned going forward. We have a couple things that are gonna be changing. A, I'm gonna be, you, you've noticed, I, I brought it up once, there has been no intro. I will be building a new intro, more in line with where the channel is, where it's gonna be going. One, two, I'm gonna be redesigning the thumbnails. We're gonna be going to a different thumbnail format. I think it just makes sense. Um, I have a couple ideas, we'll play with them, we'll test them. You'll see various different thumbnails popping up on uh, on new videos. Sometimes the same video will end up having different thumbnails. Honestly, it's just kind of felt stale lately and I wanna do something different. It's the thing I always say about brands. I mean, Rosati's, if you're in Chicago, Rosati's is a pizza brand that's been around here for ages. They're rebranding, they rebranded, they redesigned all their logos, they redesigned all their boxes. Rosati's redesigned, come on. You gotta rebrand to stay relevant. Additionally, the channel art, things like that will be changing, updating, well, we're gonna try to clean up a little bit. On the broader scope, the reason all this is happening, honestly, quite honestly, is that I am really doubling down on pushing this as my work, as my business, and I'm gonna be updating the company website. The company website's gonna be freshened up a little bit, just a little, little touch up, as well as all our other things. They're all, everything's gonna be touched up and, and updated just so we can kind of get with the times and certain things. I actually think our Nexus site is really good still. I just wanna update some of the way things are presented, and then on top of that, I, I wanna make sure that the things that it links to, i.e. the T3G website, i.e. the Catalyst website, Deadweight, all that stuff is also kind of on the same page. I don't want to leave anything kind of looking old school. T3G site, pretty outdated. It's, I mean, it's literally using the 2014 theme. It's been a while. I do want to update that. I want to, I'm going to be adding more content to it. I, I know I said I was going to put up that list of uh, free resources and that's going to be something that's going to be highlighted on the website. So we're going to be really kind of, I'm going to try to really provide a ton of resources. There's some great websites, kind of little secret tools on the internet that I've found over the years that I think are really helpful and really, really useful for people. Plus not every piece of tech is gonna get a review. Sometimes it's just gonna be a post. So a lot of that stuff's gonna vary. And honestly, with COPPA kind of being a thing last year, who knows what's gonna be the next thing that causes something else to go wrong or you know cause viewership or even access to your videos on YouTube to go away. We need to have a home base. We need to have our own place to, to have our own stuff. If you, if you watch back a few videos, never delete, right? Because God forbid something happens, YouTube goes away tomorrow, you gotta have your videos. We are gonna go to a two video format per week going forward. Uh, it's very much gonna be two random videos. I don't really wanna commit to anything as far as what video is gonna get made. I wanna have the freedom to just be able to knock something out. Like, if I'm just really feeling a, a travel video, like, I'm gonna knock out a travel video. I really don't wanna, let's say, commit to a tech review and a, I don't know, solo Saturday. I don't wanna commit to both of those and then be like, oh, I'm also putting out a, a travel video this week, which is just like additional work, plus I'm also trying to do a lot more work, business stuff. I honestly, it's gonna be two videos a week, and if it's gonna be a tech video, it's gonna be a tech video. If it's gonna be travel video, it's gonna be travel video. But whatever it is, it's gonna be two 
two videos. Uh, right now, the days are pretty much going to stay the same. Wednesday will be the wild card, which is a great name, wild card Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> that was just random. But yeah, so that's going to be if something else happens, if I come up with something else, if I just really want to do another tech review that week, that'll be our wild card and we'll toss some stuff up. That's really funny. I like that that was super organic while I was recording. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of set the stage and t talk about what's going to be happening. I'm going to be dropping a vlog, super disjointed vlog. If you watch the vlog channel at all, that's pretty much all the vlog channel is, is disjointed. But last month it was even more so because I was really, really focusing on getting the dailies done. Um, there were days and almost weeks where I just completely forgot about the vlog entirely. So just is what it is. The latest episode of Tangents is going up tomorrow. We're going to be filming a couple more episodes next week. Uh, the Tangents podcast is going to be something I'm going to be really focusing on heavily. I may even, and this is going to be, this is something I'm just bringing out now, the small business spotlight that is going to be going on the Nexus YouTube channel. That is for various reasons, but honestly, it's kind of like that is... I'm trying to find a way to phrase it. That is to present those businesses and promote them and then kind of get them some exposure. And I don't want that to like be hindered in any way by the fact that this is like a super creative platform. Like this channel is just a lot of different stuff. You know, yeah, we're doing filmmaking, but it's sometimes it's a comedy sketch. Other times it's a tech review. Other times like it's all it is all the same theme, but people might not get that. So if I keep kind of the promotional videos and stuff like that, i.e. the small business spotlights on the Nexus channel, I think that's going to be best. So here, here is where you're going to see the process for that. Probably going to shoot some behind the scenes as far as how I'm doing the interviews and stuff like that. And then the final product is going to be on the Nexus YouTube channel, uh, which I guess I'll link down below. I think there's like two videos that we did for a client a couple years, a couple, several years back. They're not great. Just, just don't, don't judge me on those. They're like seven, eight, nine, years old they're old videos but i i might even i might even kind of have my my mobile podcasting rig ready and just ask the the person i'm talking to for the small business spotlight hey do you want to kind of go into this and we'll do a passion as a business episode where we talk about why you're doing what you're doing you know kind of like what we've done i mean if you don't know the tangents podcast check out those shenanigans i'm just getting closer for absolutely no reason i just want to change something and i'm in the car it's like drizzling out i don't want this is not a we're just talking about cameras and weather weatherproofing. Uh, this is not a weatherproof camera, so I'm not gonna take this camera outside, but I just wanna still change something. And it's kind of situated on the steering wheel, so I don't wanna mess with the, the positioning of the actual camera. That's really it. Uh, I just wanted to do kind of a more formal update. Uh, Mindset Monday, I think, is gonna be the first video. That's what I'm filming tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that one is gonna be up next. And I'm trying to think if I have anything in the bucket, as it were. Well, I mean, obviously, I've got a couple tech reviews up. I actually realized, you know what? I think that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the other light. So between the two lights, I got both the power adapter and a battery that I need to power both lights and the monitor, which is awesome. And we'll talk about all of that on. Uh, Tech Tuesdays going forward. I also want to present budget solutions. I, this is really, I, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, i.e. a Peter McKinnon, Chris Howe. I watch a ton of uh, Tyler Babin stuff, all of Tyler Babin stuff actually. Uh, there's just like, I think three live streams that he did that I haven't watched yet. But other than that, I've watched all of his videos. He has like thousand dollar microphones that he uses in his interviews. That's cool. They sound great. Uh, my problem is that most people don't have that kind of money. Most people starting out don't have that kind of money. So as I did with the uh, Chibo podcasting solution that we talked about last Tech Tuesday, we're gonna talk about stuff like that going forward. We're gonna talk about a full podcasting setup, bare minimum cost. Somebody on Twitter just said under 200 bucks. They had a specific microphone. I'm interested, I'm gonna take a look. I'm a podcast, I'm gonna check it out. Review kind of that setup, things like that. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about ways to get this kind of work done without having to wait for thousands of dollars of gear. <sighs> Look at it this way. I have three cameras. None of them shoot 4K. None of them have 60 frames per second on 1080. I still work. I still get paid for work. You gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. I don't wanna drag this out. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys, well, technically tomorrow for you, but in a couple days.